The symbiotes, an alien race of shape-shifting, parasitic goo that also give anyone they bond to super strength, a healing factor, and a rad new look. These are the top five symbiotes in Marvel Comics. Number one, Venom. We can't start off our list with any other but the OG symbiote themselves, Venom. Venom's minimalist design of all black with a white spider emblem on their chest and white eyes came from bonding with their first host, Spider-Man. Their poisonous fangs and energy absorption plus redirection abilities make them a formidable force for anyone to face. Number two, Carnage. This serial killing symbiote may have come second, but Carnage is one of the deadliest and most iconic symbiotes in Marvel history. Its gooey red and black appearance makes them look absolutely gruesome, and its shape-shifting ability to create bladed and blunt instruments from its own mass are just a few of the many reasons you don't want to fight with them, unless you don't scare easily. Number 3. Scream. This symbiote makes the saying ladies first feel appropriate since it first bonded with a woman. Decked out in a yellow, red, orange, and black color scheme, their screams are able to make its wild flowing mane form sharp blades to use on their enemies. Really gives a new meaning to the saying dressed to kill. Number 4, Anti-Venom. Anti-Venom's unlike any other symbiote in the Marvel Universe, and we ain't just talking about its striking white and black look. With powers that range from immunity to fire and sound attacks, to sensing when a person is sick and healing them, and purge or destroy other symbiotes it touches, this oddball is definitely useful in a symbiote standoff. Number 5, Scorn. This symbiote is what happens when you fuse a biomechanical prosthetic with the Carnage symbiote and add a hint of lavender. Scorn is able to absorb and morph any kind of machinery and weapons into their body. They're also able to communicate and telepathically control any form of tech. Scorn's definitely the one to call for all your IT problems. What's your favorite symbiote? Which one would you want to bond with? Be sure to let us know in the comments.